Hello everyone. First of all, forgive me for my voice. I've been sick for the past few weeks. Honestly, 2024 has been so far pretty miserable for me. I've been sick most of the time. The only highlight honestly has been you guys and this channel. You watching my videos, liking and your support helping me reach past a thousand subscribers has been a blessing. So I want to give you a sincere thank you. And okay, before I start crying like a little bitch, let me get on with the ship. So one of you have asked me if there is a different way to design a ship using this cockpit, the Cabot bridge. And well, I tried to do something different. And here it is. I'll be honest, I'm not 100% about this. I'm not sure. I guess there's a reason why most ship designs have this cockpit at the front. I mean, it just probably looks better. And having it here, kind of in the middle is, um, I don't know, it is, it is definitely different. It is unique, right? It doesn't, it doesn't quite look like others, but, um, but I'm not sure. It looks a little bit chunky. And, and I just think that this game doesn't have enough parts or parts shaped in the way that will make this design uh, work. Honestly, I'm probably gonna try to work on this design maybe a little bit more. Hopefully you guys can give me some suggestions. So anyway, the stats are still pretty decent. The hull is the only thing that is a little bit on the lower end. 1271. Usually I managed to get most built to 1500. This one's a little bit low. Shield 1600. Cargo is pretty good. 5720. You can actually probably hit 6000 without reducing mobility. Crew 10. Jump range 30. 100 mobility. 130 top speed. Mass 42, 34. Decent amount. It's okay. So the weapons are decent. They are not the best, best weapons. I wanted to see if I could still get away with a little bit cheaper weapons. And these ones are actually doing the job. I mean, the only ones that are expensive are these ones, the PBO 300 auto alpha beans. I mean, I had to have one set that is high damage, good, expensive weapons. So there's this one. But then on the other ones, I'm trying the PB100 Neutron. I usually go with the PB175, I believe. And then there's also this one, the MKE4A or the Gauss Count. Usually I use the MKE9 or the Gauss Count. And I gotta tell you, this set of weapon, yeah, no problem. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the ship apart for you guys to see. Maybe if some of you who like this design, so you can build it. I will also put now on the screen the list of parts, unique parts that you need to go get. My suggestion, as always, go to those specific places just to get those unique parts. Put them on the ship you want, however you want, and then just fly back to your own outpost, your landing pad, so that you do the actual ship building there. That way, at least you will have all the structural parts in one place. All right, so I have the ship split into different layers. I'm going to show you guys the parts starting from the bottom layer. We have a lot of structures from the beginning here. We have a Deimos braking engine. Behind that is a Deimos hull. Next to that, we have the Nova braking engines. On top, we have a Nova coaling. And here I have a Nova Galactic mess hull, two by three. Down here at the top here, this is the demo spine A. This is another A, but flip to the other end. On top of that, we have one of the weapons, the MKE-4. Now here I have the shield, the Assurance SG-1800 shield. And then same thing on the other side. Then further out, we have the Nova Coaling 2L. This is also the Nova Coaling, the same part, but the second variant, so just the middle part. And behind that here we have a Hope Tech radiator. So the other side, exactly the same thing. Now behind connecting the two large hubs, we have a Tayo storeroom, a one by one. Next to that, we have the helium tanks, the 600T helium tanks, one on each side. Behind that, I have a Stroud living quarters, two by two. 
and then I have a straw workshop here. And uh, I put two portholes, two windows here at the very back. Now behind we have three one by ones. Now let me explain. This seems stupid, seems dumb. And the reason is because I wanted to force a ladder to be here in this side. I did not like having a ladder in this area. So that's why it became three one by ones. So then next to that, we have the Deimos landing gears. And here we have the Tayo landing gears, the Pinpoint 3G landing gears. So that goes in here. Now then there's another portal here, a couple more portal here and here. And then this one is just a whole tech nose. I just don't like, you know, the look of that. So put something here to make it kind of look smooth. Now at the bottom, we have a few things. So we have this landing gear, the Hope 5 landing gear, one on each side here. Then we have the Hope 4 landing bay. Then behind here, we have the 10 ST shielded cargo hull. So we have two. You know. Then next to that, we have the NG20 landing gears, another NG20 landing gear, another NG20 landing gear here, and the rest uh, will recover. Oh, there is the docker here. This is the Deimos docker flip to face the bottom. So, all right, so that's the bottom level. Now here on this level, we have a few hubs. This is the Nova Galactic 2x2. Two two. This is the one with a, that has a pool table here. And uh, this is the Nova Galactic only one berth. Behind that, we have a 2x2 two two battle station and a control station 2x1 here. Now uh, here, what connects this is a Hope Tech Hub cross brace that connects to a 3x1 only one berth with a weapon mount here, some weapons. There is a, here there's a weapon plate here, otherwise you cannot put a weapon here. And then we have a Deimos Wing A and a Deimos Wing D. Same thing on the other side, completely symmetrical. Now here, the first engines. I have here at the top is a tire mid cap. Then this is a tire braking engine. These two are structures. Now below that, what I have is a Galeon S203 cargo hull uh, because it kind of have the same shape. So I just use this to put it underneath instead of another mid cap. And behind that, we have the Sal 6830 engine. Same thing on the other side. In here, we have the SF30 reactor probably could upgrade this reactor for something better instead of the 34 something that generates 40 power so next to that i have two nova wings i just like the look of them so i cannot just shove them in there oh and on top of the hope tech cross brace i have another weapon mount that has the pbo 300 on top of it and that is the third third level third layer and once we have it, we can just double click everything and put everything here. And yeah, is there, right? Yep, oops, here. Uh, is it a line? Yeah, perfect. So we start with the uh, Cabo C3 bridge. And behind that, there's the Nova Galactic control station, a two by one. Then I have a structure, Hope Tech Cap B. And then here I have another helium tank, the M10 Ulysses helium tanks, one on each. Now here I use two different braces. This one is the Nova cross passage connected to the Hope Tech cross brace. And that leads into the Tayo Science Lab 2x1. Behind that is just the saw engine. And I put some pole holes around. So here, once we have it, double click and we can drag it in here. So the cockpit of a hands, you know, from this level. Then we drop the helium tanks, one here, one here, and the structure goes in here. So now we have the final level and uh, we have the Nova Coaling followed by another Nova Coaling. This is the 2L. This is, this is basically the middle variant of this one. So that goes in there. Uh, I have another Hope Tech Cap B, another structure. It's the same as the one on the level below. 
Then behind that is the J52 Gamma Grad Drive. Then for the engines, it's the same as on the other floor. So mid cap at the top, braking engine and cargo and the engine at the back. Then here, this is Deimos spine, a Deimos radiator and a Deimos tail. And that is, that is it for that level. So once you have it, you can highlight it and then bring it here. Then this goes in here, this goes in, come on, this goes in here, and this goes in here. And that's it, so that is the build. Okay, let me show you guys the interior really quick. So the interior is pretty decent, it's not very messy. So as you come up, there is this uh, storeroom that I have just for the landing bay to access. And at the back, there is the two by three mess hall from Nova. It's a decent interior. So there is this one. And uh, at the back, there is the two by two, the living quarters here. And I think here I made it a workshop just to be able to get your stuff done. Uh, put a couple of windows. And at the back, here's where, you know, things kind of get crazy with the, with three one by ones. So this one, you know, a couple of windows. And because I wanted to force the ladder to be on this side, which is why I have to put two other one by ones on each end. And then the last one, this is just for the docker. Uh, this is a nice place, actually. You know, you have kind of three windows. Although the views, you know, out of those two are not that great. This view is decent. So, and this is the ladder goes up. And it goes up to a battle station. And that's why I wanted the ladder there. Because otherwise the ladder shows up here. And then entering, exiting, you know, out of those two doors gets a little bit more complicated. It kind of gets in the way. And uh, here, this is another control station. This is just a two by one control station next to a battle station. And uh, here we have the two by two living quarters from Nova. Uh, I like this one, it's very open here. You can go you run straight into your carpet uh, with nothing on the way, so it's fantastic. And uh, here, there's a pool table here. Cool thing, I put in a door here, it did not get rid of the table, so that's kind of good. So on the other side, there is the two by one, only one bird from Nova Galactic. And on each side, you have those cross brace. And on one here, we have a three by one, only one bird, and that's it. On the other side, I have another three by one all in one berth as well. It's just exactly the same. Except that this one, the game just insists on putting a ladder here. There is no need for ladder. I can access that side from, from the cockpit. I'm gonna go up from this side, from the cockpit. And the cockpit looking pretty nice. So yeah, it's pretty decent, this cockpit. And behind the carpet, we have a second control station. This is from Nova, two by one. And then here we have the other two cross braces. So you can go to one place. And at this one, I made it a captain's quarters. This is the side that doesn't have a ladder. So I made it a captain's quarters. Uh, I think it looks great. Just having those windows on the side and having this window at the front, I mean, the view is great. And uh, you can see your weapon right in front of it. Or you can just remove this weapon, put it somewhere else and have a better view. And on the other side, I think all I have is just a science lab. Yeah, yeah, it's a science lab. Just have, uh, same thing with windows, all that stuff. And yeah, and this is the ladder that the game just insists on adding here. I mean, no reason. But yeah, uh, hopefully with an update, we can choose where to put ladders or not put ladders at all. And okay, so that is the interior, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna try to work on this a little bit more, see if I can make it, you know, better. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. So, all right, thank you all again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. 
have fun, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video.